If you missed my last video, I had an incredible time exploring the town of Jinji, Uganda, on the shores of Lake Victoria at the source of the Nile River. From here, I would head two hours west to Kampala, Uganda's thriving capital city. To get there, I decided to grab a matatu or shared taxi, which are plentiful and a very common way to get around in Uganda. Just sorting out a uh, minibus here to get to Kampala. Charge two dollars to get there, so it's a pretty reasonable price. There's a lot of competition here about which minibus I should actually be taking, so probably going to just pay double and uh, get the uh, front seat and have a little bit of space on this, so it's not as uncomfortable of a journey. So get there in two, three, four hours or so, depending on the traffic. Great to be back in the Matatu scene here on the minibuses. I've missed traveling like this in Africa. It's very uncomfortable. If you get the front seat though, it's great. I booked two seats here. So I've got the seat for my backpack. I got the seat for myself. The prices are so incredibly cheap here in Uganda uh, that this ticket is $2 to travel, about 100K, two to three hour bus ride over to uh, Kampala. $4 is not going to break the bank for me, and I get the entire front row to myself. I'm sitting next to the driver, good views out the window. Definitely looking forward to hitting the road here. The only problem is we have to wait for this bus to fill, which, considering I'm the only passenger, might take a little while. That's totally fine though, I got some time. This one's filling up surprisingly fast. We got a few more seats and then we'll be on our way. It took about, I'm gonna say, five minutes for it to fill up, so. Really quick. Well, there you go. And I think we're set. Mm.
arrived in downtown Kampala, Uganda. The trip was actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. It took us about two hours in total, maybe just a little bit less than that to get here, and that's with traffic and rush hour. One of the interesting things about this city that I noticed coming in is that it really does come out of nowhere. You're just stuck in traffic in the middle of the suburbs, and suddenly you are surrounded by skyscrapers in the downtown port. Basically go around the corner and you are in this. So very busy, uh, lively capital of uh, Uganda. Anyway, I'm off to my hotel. I cannot remember the name of it. I think it's called the uh, Wilson Hotel or something like that. I'll, I'll update you in a second. All right, this is the hotel, the HP2 Russell Hotel. Really good downtown location though. It's right in the center, right uh, near the major street. And it's also very near to the museum and other highlights here in downtown Kampala. So pretty reasonably priced. I paid a total of 55 or 60 bucks US with tax. I'll have some more time to explore this tomorrow. Here's a taste of Kampala.